So recently I finished reading And Yet by Christopher Hitchens, a collection of his essays and book reviews uh, published after his death. Um, I love Christopher Hitchens, I, I came across his work very late in his life, so I didn't really get the full joy. I think I first saw him on um, that Penn and Teller show, Bullshit, or something like that. Um, amazing guy, really intelligent. I've read pretty much everything I can find of his. Um, you know, arguably um, Hitch 22, that sort of thing. Um, and I like his writing a lot. Uh, it's true that everything he wrote re really had that kind of interest and appeal to it. The only problem with this collection is that it feels kind of um, stitched together for people like me who would buy anything with the Christopher Hitchens name attached. Um, a lot of the, the articles were clearly written not to be read consecutively because they contain the same sort of language. Like near the beginning, he talks about somebody's uh, Bo Edel several times across different articles. Um, later when he's discussing Christmas in some kind of uh, slightly tongue-in-cheek um, articles for places like Slate and Wall Street Journal, uh, he talks about uh, the, um, what was it, the near Ramadan uh, experience of the month-long Christmas and you, you read it and you think well I might have read one of these pieces in the real world if that had been the the source that I'd usually gone for but reading them both together kind of doesn't really work because it feels like he was recycling just a touch. Um, out of all the collection I'd say that only a few pieces really stand up to the test of time or will do the sort of pieces that could have been added to arguably um, his ideas about um, self-improvement, the three-part series that was included in the book, um, was very well written, very interesting, but also very sad because, um, you know, he's talking about the, the horrible feelings in his mouth, the throat hurting, things like that. And, uh, well, you know why later, because, you know, he gets the throat cancer and eventually dies from it. So it was kind of very, well, very bittersweet, if nothing else. Uh, so I'd say that this book is one for the collectors, one for people like me who will just get things that say Christopher Hitchens on. Uh, so I'm going to give it uh, three and a half stars out of five. Well worth a look, but um, stick with arguably if you're, if you're on, the, on the fence somewhat.